In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a flashlight that both dies over time and you can turn off and on. It's pretty simple, so let's get started. First, we'll be using a couple of different assets, including the mini first person controller and the hospital horror pack by Fojoff May. Due to the scaling of the hospital horror pack, we actually made our first person controller a bit taller. But the first thing that we're going to do is create a new spotlight and make it a child object of our first person camera. Make sure its transform is zeroed out other than the scale. And the next thing that we're going to do is change its render mode to important. That way it always shines its light on whatever the player is looking at. Because when it's set to auto, it might not shine if there's a lot of lights around it, which normally is fine, but it'll be super obvious to the player and we don't want that. Next, we're just going to adjust the spot angle and range. In this case, we're just going to set both to 50. And if we test that out, you'll see that it looks good, but it also looks kind of boring being a perfect circle. But to fix that, we're going to give this light a cookie, which just changes the shape of the light when it's being cast onto surfaces. Once we're done with that, you'll see that it already looks better, and then we're going to give it some shadows, after which we're going to have to set its mode from real time to mixed in order to get rid of this error. And when we test that out, you'll see that it already looks infinitely better. And I think that's good. Now let's get into coding. First, we're going to create a new script. We're going to call it flashlight. Go ahead and drag that onto our spotlight. And after that, let's go ahead and change our spotlight's name from spotlight to flashlight. Then let's go ahead and open up the script in Visual Studio. First thing that we're going to do is make a light, call it M underscore light, and then make that light equal to get component light in the start function. Afterwards, let's go into the update function and just do a simple off and on switch by saying if input dot get key down key code F for flashlight, M light dot enabled, equals space explanation point m light dot enabled test that out really quick and yeah turns off and on works great going back into our script we're going to make a public bool call it drain over time and then we're going to make a public float and we're going to call it max brightness make another public float call it min brightness and beneath that we're going to make a public float and this one's going to be called drain rate then at the top of our update function we're going to say if drain over time is equal to true and m light dot enabled is equal to true then we're going to say mlight.intensity equals mathf.clamp mlight intensity min brightness max brightness. And this will just clamp the intensity between our two values. Beneath that, we're going to say if mlight.intensity is greater than min brightness, then mlight.intensity minus equals time.delta time times parentheses drain rate divided by a thousand. The reason we have divided by a thousand is so we can put reasonable numbers inside of the inspector. And actually, let's go ahead and put the math clamp at the top of the update function. Going into the inspector, let's go ahead and turn on the drain rate over time, make the max brightness equal to 1 and the mid brightness equal to 0.1. And you'll see that if we set drain rate equal to 10, it's already draining pretty fast. While you can't really see the difference right now, this light will be turned off in like a minute, which isn't really fun for gameplay. So let's set that to 2, and if we test it out, now it seems like we have a good amount of time with our flashlight. And of course, go ahead and adjust these numbers as your game needs. All right, everything works perfectly, but the last thing that we're going to do is make a new function. And we're going to call it public void replace battery, and we're going to give it the parameter of a float, and I'm going to call it a mount. Super simple. Whenever this function is called, we're just going to say mlight.intensity plus equals amount. Now, if you use this in conjunction with our interaction tutorial, you can have a battery call the function of replace battery right off of the flashlight and then increase it by whatever amount you want. But for the case of this tutorial, we're just gonna say if input.getKeyDown, keycode.r for replace, then we're just gonna call our function replace battery and feed it the parameter of 0.3f. Make sure you save that and let's go test this out. And to make it a little more clear, we're gonna turn off the drain rate, set the intensity 0.1, and then try our replace battery function. And everything works. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. We try to answer as many as possible, and we'll see you next time.